Hi, in our last video, we got to know the red side dace a little better, and we learned about some of the strategies that biologists use to study the red side dace in the wild. In this video, we'll find out more about red side dace habitat and some of the threats facing this endangered species. And we're joined today by our partners in red side dace conservation from Ontario Streams, and Kat Lucas is here to tell us a little more about red side dace habitat. Hi, I'm Kat, and I'm the Outreach Coordinator at Ontario Streams. Ontario Streams is a non-profit environmental charity founded in 1995. Our mission is to promote the protection and rehabilitation of Ontario streams, rivers and wetlands through community action and education. We lead conservation projects to improve aquatic habitat across Ontario and we lead public stewardship events to connect community members with their local environment. We've been working with partners like the Toronto Zoo for close to two decades on conservation work to help the red side dace. About 80% of the population of red side dace in Ontario live within the Lake Ontario watershed right here in the Greater Toronto Area. Red side dace love streams with riffles and pools as we can see behind me here. They also need cool water to survive and will typically live in areas where the water is less than 23 degrees Celsius. They also need water with very low turbidity, which means that the water is clear. Red side dace also need overhanging vegetation on the stream banks because that is what attracts their main food source. Now Mary-Kate will discuss the different threats to the red side dace here in the Greater Toronto Area. Good quality red side dace habitat, like the habitat that Kat just described, is becoming scarce. Human activities can interfere with these really sensitive habitat requirements. For example, Climate change can cause the water to warm up. Barriers to water flow, like organic debris or pollution, can cause the water to slow down and warm up as well. And it can also result in lower oxygen in the water. Pollution can negatively impact water quality. And finally, the removal of shoreline vegetation can lead to erosion, which leads to higher turbidity, which as we learned from Kat, makes the water less clear and very difficult for the red side dace to see its prey. These are just some of the threats facing the red side dace, but the good news is there's lots of work being done to help protect red side dace habitat. And we're gonna learn more about that work in the next video.